Who's that? Answer me or I swear to God I'll... Oh, <laughs> it's you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm kind of in protective feral mode right now. The power went out a couple of hours ago and I think looking from the street, it's a power cut. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Oh. Oh, are you hurt? We need to clean that up right now. Mm-mm. Come on, sit down. Uh, on the sofa, if you can find it. <laughs> Just be careful. I, I don't even know how many things I've knocked over already. <laughs> there you go. Okay, just uh, stay there. Hey, look what I found. <laughs> I don't know how long candles like these last, but it'll do for now. Ah, there you go. <laughs> huh. Nothing. I mean... You look different. You look good. No, no, I I really like it. You look um you look cute. <laughs> uh okay, um I, I'm just going to take this down a little bit. Ouch. How did this even happen? That's so bad. Mm. <laughs> that figures. You always were clumsy. Uh, yes, you definitely were. Hold this. <laughs> yes, you were. You remember that time you choked and basically, like, threw that player's spaghetti at me? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, sure thing, sure thing. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, does it sting? Alright, just... <laughs> you have to keep this on until at least tomorrow, and hopefully it won't get infected. Yes, you are going to keep it on. I'm going to make sure you are. Well, I'm going to take care of you, like I always do. Oh, please. You'll never be grown up enough for me to not want to take care of you. Hey, I'm not saying you're a baby. You never have been to me. You were already pretty much grown up when I started babysitting you all. It's only because your parents had to travel so far that they felt like they needed me. <laughs> you were 17. <laughs> oh, really? You think you could have handled everything by yourself? No, no, I would have loved to see that. <laughs> God, I remember the day I first came here. I think you had just turned 17 and you got so, so sick. Do you remember? <laughs> no, no, don't go backtracking now. I literally nursed you back to health that week. Mm-hmm, I did. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe how long ago that feels. And now look at you. You're just like proper grown-up. I bet you still need looking after, though, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Girlfriend? No girlfriend? Boyfriend. <laughs> what? I'm just asking. What? No. No, I refuse to believe that. Well, how come? That is... That... 
<laughs> that is unbelievable. You, you can't tell me that in all the time that you've been away, there hasn't even been one person. Well, that's silly. Mm -mm. I, they just don't know how lovely you are. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. They don't know what they're missing. I'm just being truthful. Honestly, if I... I... Never mind. Me? Nope. No, nope. I am just concentrating on getting my masters, and then maybe I'll start looking for love. <laughs> Please. I enjoyed my time at college and uni enough to last me for another, like, ten years or something. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> Though, don't look at me like that. <laughs> like I just shattered your whole image of me. <laughs> well, how would you know? I'm very professional when I'm doing my job and that a whole topic, a conversation, isn't normally something that comes up in a professional environment, so... <laughs> oh come on come on I bet it is the same for you you must be like fighting girls off left and right Ugh, come on now what's going on <laughs> like I'm gonna be completely honest with you now speaking as a woman you are an absolute catch okay Yes, you are. You are. You are incredibly attractive, sweet, kind. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the most attractive thing about you is this quiet shyness. It is so endearing. Like, <laughs> oh, honey. Talk to me. Come on, sit back. No, <laughs> come on. We are gonna talk this out. Come on, what's going on? Tell me. It's okay. Take your time. We have got so much time, as you can see. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's easy to get into that way of thinking sometimes. Like, you feel like you're not good enough for anything or anyone. And then you see people around you and they're in love, they have friends, they're successful, they're achieving things. And then... It's easy for you to feel like you're not enough because you see all this stuff going on around you. You know what? It's okay. It is completely normal to feel like this sometimes. Of course it is. I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to feel like that. What I will tell you though is that with my extra years ahead of you in life, is that this is just, you know, it's going to pass. Someday this is not going to be a thing, you know? A life is just a bunch of phases, and in some phases it can feel lonely. You can feel like you're not going anywhere. Um, but you just need to remember, this is such a small part of your life. You know, you have like an entire lifetime ahead of you where you're going to go through so many different phases people you haven't met yet, things you haven't discovered yet, things you haven't achieved yet, it all just kind of weaves into the tapestry of who you are. So yeah, it's okay to feel like this sometimes. <laughs> Can I be honest with you though? Like, 
super, super honest with you. I think you need to have a little more confidence in yourself. Not a little bit of confidence, like a lot of confidence. I know, I know. It's easier said than done, but you literally have everything inside you already. You just need to own it. What do you mean you can't? Now come on. You can tell me. You can tell me anything. A girl? Okay, and what happened? She wanted to... cuddle? Okay, so... did you? Why not? God... I don't want to sound condescending, but... Your cuteness factor just went up by, like, a thousand percent. <laughs> because now all I want to do is teach you how to cuddle. No, it's not. That is extremely cute to me. What are you talking about? Hmm. You know, I think I found your problem in all of this. <laughs> yeah. I think you just haven't found a compatible type yet, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but, um, <laughs> I think you're exactly my type when it comes to who I find attractive. Why? Uh, God, <laughs> um, I am so glad the power is out right now. Oh, I think I'm blushing a little bit, um. I guess you just, like, activate this part of me that really, you know, needs to take care of you. Uh, it's hard to explain, but I guess I like that you're inexperienced because um, I know that if we were dating and, you know, for hypothetical whatever reasons, if we were dating, then I know that I would take care of you and keep you safe. Uh, I don't know. Like, what I'm saying is, this version of you that you think is not good enough, it is everything to someone like me.